If you're like me, you love listening to audiobooks, but you're probably always wondering, am I cheating? Am I getting the same thing out of this book if I were actually holding the physical copy and turning the pages rather than just listening to someone else read it to me? In this video, we're going to be looking at what science has to say about this question. And it's an important question because over the last couple of years, the percentage of American adults who say they've listened to an audiobook in the past year has doubled. And the number of people who are actually reading physical books and ebooks is steadily going down. So are we doing ourselves a disservice? Should we stick to actually reading the words? Let's find out. Okay, so just to summarize what the research in this area says, one, reading seems like it can actually lead to better comprehension and retention, but to be honest, the findings there are pretty mixed, and we'll be looking at that in a little bit. Two, you can get better at either reading or listening. And number three is that listening is definitely more convenient than reading. By the way, I'm Andrew Cooper Sansone, and this is Sense of Mind. We talk about psychology, mental health, and neuroscience, and our goal is to upgrade your brain so that you can improve your life. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss anything new from this channel. Okay, so before we get into all the differences between reading and listening, you might be wondering why there would be any kind of difference in the first place. If you're seeing the same words as you're hearing, then shouldn't they just be the same? Well. The thing is, there's a theory in this area of research that basically says that by physically engaging with a real book, by turning the pages, by being able to kind of go at your own pace and holding it leads to more engagement with what you're reading. And so you're more likely to understand and remember what you read. So that's kind of like the basis for this research. So one of the biggest findings in this area is that reading may lead to better comprehension and better retention. So you understand and remember what you read more than with listening, as that theory would predict. But the thing is that it's kind of a mixed bag in terms of the results from these different studies. So a lot of studies do find that reading shows slightly better results in comprehension. So you understand what you read more um, than when you listen and you remember it better. But there are definitely prominent studies that have be been done in the last five years, last 10 years, that show only slight differences or no difference at all. I think we could tentatively say that reading is probably a little bit better for remembering and understanding the material than listening. Uh, but this kind of brings us to the next point. Reading and listening are both different types of skills, right? So you probably, if you're an average person, you've probably read a lot more than you've listened to books. So you're probably just way better at reading than you are at listening. And like personally, I started listening to audiobooks five or six years ago, and it, I do it whenever I would normally listen to music now. I don't even really like even listen to podcasts all that much anymore. I mostly just listen to various audiobooks. And at first it was pretty hard to pay attention to be working out or walking outside or doing something while listening to a book. But over time, you kind of get the hang of it. You get a lot better at it. You can turn up the speed a little bit and listen to it. So I think part of the variability that we see across these studies is just due to different people being better at it than others or just liking listening more than others. So, you know, they have more of an interest in listening to audiobooks, so they become a better listener. And same thing with reading. There's people who, who are kind of indifferent about reading, people who don't like it, people who love it. And so the people who love it are going to be more interested in getting better at reading. But I think that that can probably explain part of the variability. And I think it's good to keep in mind that if you want to listen to audiobooks, you can get better. You can incorporate it into your life more. Okay, so the first point was basically that reading may lead to better comprehension and retention of information. The second point was that you can get better at either reading or listening. 
And I think the third point is really a point for listening. So listening is definitely more convenient than reading. I mean, you can listen to a book while you're riding a bike, while you're working out, while you're walking down the street or doing house chores or anything like that. You really can't do that while you're reading a book. I mean, I, I do see some people at the gym who've got their on their treadmill, you know, they've got their book in front of them or their magazine or they're on the, the stationary bike or whatever. But I think that uh, for most people, that's that's fairly difficult to do. Definitely more difficult than just having the earphones in your ears and listening at whatever speed is comfortable for you. This kind of leads me to a general point. I think that a lot of the time when we ask these questions like, is reading better than listening or you know, in a previous video we talked about, is nonfiction better than fiction? I mean, I think that if your goal is to really get deep into the text, then you probably need to read it or, you know, at least listen to it and read it at the same time. Um, but if you're just trying to hear it, you're just, you want to get that information, you want to hear that author's voice, then listen to it or, you know, do what, do what you want to do. Don't worry so much about what the science says, especially because the differences just aren't that big and it really comes down to an individual question. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it at all, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you never miss anything new from Sense of Mind. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're interested, check out the newsletter um, that is going to be getting going soon, so definitely sign up for it. We're going to be sending out news and information about what's going on with Sense of Mind. Um, thank you again for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Diamond Mind Foundation. This episode was written and produced by me, Andrew Cooper Sansone. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.